Bonjour, today let's have a look at feminine possessive pronouns in French. So we are going to learn how to say mine, yours, his and so on. Okay folks, let's have a look at the feminine possessive pronouns today. Now, if you're not sure about the masculine possessive pronouns, please have a look at my other lessons that concentrate just on the masculine possessive pronouns. Now, when I mean possessive masculine pronouns or possessive feminine pronouns, I mean this. Have a look at this chart. It's basically how do we say mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, yours and theirs in French. Okay. Now, as you may imagine, there are four ways of saying mine in French, four ways of saying yours, four ways of saying everything. But today we concentrate on the way number two which is the feminine versions, which is the ones that you are going to use when you use a feminine word, okay? So, for mine, we say la mienne. It is mine, c'est la mienne. For yours, it is la tienne. For his, hers and its, it is la sienne. For ours, it is la nôtre. For yours, it is la vôtre. And for theirs, it is la leur. So you will notice a pattern here. We've got la throughout. Why? Because it's a feminine, feminine uh, pronoun. Okay. Now, what I would like you to do, because it's, it's a concept that may not exist for you because you've never had to think about it. Okay. Now, for example, if you wanted to say, say, Ma pomme. It is my apple. But you want to say it is mine. Okay, that's what we're working on today. So, c'est ma pomme. It is mine. Have a look at the chart. How would you say that? C'est la mienne. Okay, why it is that we are using la? It's because pomme is feminine. Okay, so you've got to remember that the possessive pronoun no replace a noun, okay, a noun defined by an adjective possessive, okay, so if I say sa pomme, I would say la sienne, okay, if you were to replace it, and it vary according to the gender and number of the noun it replaces, as well as the person to whom it be the object belongs to. So, in the example, c'est ma pomme, c'est la mienne, we know that the apple belongs to the first person singular, as in ma pomme, okay? These rules have been explained in my video on masculine possessive pronouns. If you are not certain, have a look and refer back to it please for more information and you've got the support guide available for this website this, this website this lesson as well on learnfrenchwithalexa.com now how would you say this it is my it is her chair it is hers have a look so you would think okay it's not because it belongs to a girl remember it's what is the gender of chair well it's feminine so you would say c'est sa chaise, but how would you say it is hers? Well, if you follow the chart, c'est la sienne. Okay, get it? Now, have a look at this one. It is your house, it is yours. So how would you say that? C'est ta maison. Okay, remember maison is a feminine, so therefore we don't say ton, we say ta. C'est ta maison, c'est la tienne, okay, if you follow the chart. Once you know what gender, what gender we are talking about in French, in that case it's maison, so it's feminine, then there is no problem. So c'est ta maison, c'est la tienne. Have a look at this one. C'est notre chat, c'est la nôtre. So it's our cat, it is ours, okay. So you're going to say, hold on a minute, chat is cat, it's masculine. Not in this case. It has a double T-E, so we know it's feminine. So, c'est notre chat, it's our cat. C'est la nôtre, it is ours, okay? So, like I say, you've got to be aware of where when you use this pronoun, you've got to think what gender is it? Is it feminine? Is it masculine? Is it feminine plural, masculine plural, okay?
Now, have a look at a few examples to get you warmed up and, and going here, okay? We had a look at C'est ma pomme, c'est la mienne. Have a look at this one. Ma voiture est à côté de la tienne. Ma voiture est à côté de la tienne. Well, that means my car, okay, my as in the possessive adjective. And by the way, if you're not certain about the possessive adjectives, as in my, your, his, and so on, have a look at my lessons on possessive adjectives. There are three lessons on that subject. Okay, now, ma voiture est à côté, is next to yours, la tienne. Have a look. Ma voiture est à côté de la tienne. Ok? Now have a look at this example now. Notre maison est petite. La leur est grande. Notre maison est petite. La leur est grande. How? How? Our house is small. La leur. What do you think la leur means? Well, if you look at the chart, it means theirs. Ok? Talking about a feminine word. Theirs is big. Well done. Notre maison est petite, la leur est grande, theirs is big, okay? Now, have a look at the chart, complete chart here again, okay? Have uncovered the feminine plural, the masculine plural, that's coming up in other lessons. I just want to do thing, one thing at a time because it's such a hard subject for me to teach. It's really hard. Can you imagine for you to try to understand? I am making it as simple as possible and it's really, really hard, okay? Now remember that. Remember that you would use this possessive pronoun, feminine possessive pronoun, if your word was a, a feminine word, okay? That's quite simple. I would like you to learn this by heart. Yes, you will. Yeah, I know you will. No, 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 you will. I promise you, you will. Anyway, remember there is a support guide that comes with this lesson and it's available on learnfrenchwithalexa.com. Have a look at Learn French with Alexa, the channel, YouTube channel, which is super awesome and subscribe to it if you want to know what goes on in my French world. That's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous.